In this video, we're looking at how to use the generative fill tools in Luminar Neo. Now in this video, I'm gonna be using the sample images that come with Luminar Neo. If you haven't worked with these before, I think these are a great way for you to figure out new tools, practice with editing, so that you don't worry about messing up your photos when you're going through those and editing those, you can perfect your tools with these photos. Let's first start with the Gen Erase tool. So this tool is basically used to erase an object from your photo, but Luminar runs a generative fill AI query. Basically what that means is just nerdy talk for it's going to run searches for objects that fit exactly within that area based on the luminance, hue, and saturation, which are the three things that make up every single megapixel in your photo file. So for this one, let's look at this photo. So in this photo, we have a nice little arch with the Milky Way over top, but we have a person in the middle. Maybe you would want a person in your photo, but maybe you're trying to erase people out of your photo. Here's exactly how you would use this tool. So you would come over here to Gen Erase and it would start working and analyzing this photo. Next, you have a little brush that comes up and we wanna be sure to paint everything that you want replaced in this little section and the selection. This is very important because you don't want to erase something and have a random foot hanging out in the area that you forgot to select. So be sure you select everything. And then it's as simple as hitting erase and looking at the results. Now it takes a little bit of a while to run that query and get your results, but here's what it did. So here's what it came up with. It filled it in with more Milky Way tones and basically what the core of the Milky Way is and the correct color tones within that selection, which is surprisingly impressive. So I'm just gonna zoom in on this and see it at a zoomed in level. And we're just gonna zoom around here and find that little section. And you can kind of see where that is, but you can't really detect everything that was erased and replaced. So it did a very good job here of filling it in with the correct hue, luminance, and saturation of those pixels within the surrounding area. Next, let's look at the Gen Swap tool. Now this is basically a tool that's very similar to the Erase tool, but you're basically telling Luminar to erase one section and then replace it with an AI search that you are telling it what to replace with. I'll show you how that works. So I'm gonna click on this scene from Japan here, and I'm gonna go to Gen Swap. Now, when you go over to Gen Swap, you see you get the same little paintbrush that comes up. Instead of having just this hallway looking down this scene, what I'm gonna do is paint right in here in the frame. And when I get done painting this entire area that I want included, this search query down here comes up for you to type in what you want. So because this is kind of a negative space area to make this photo a little bit more interesting, I'm going to do traveler with camera taking a photo. The more exact and detailed you are in the description of what you want it to replace that section with, the better results you're actually going to have. So here's our result. It actually matched it quite well with the light, the color, the shadowing, everything that's going on. It's done a very good job of replacing it with what we've actually selected here. Let's have some fun with this tool though. I'm gonna go to this photo and I'm going to go to Gen Swap. And instead of having this ice climber here, I'm going to paint in this section and let's just replace this with a Yeti. We're gonna have the abominable snowman in this photo to replace out this ice climber. I wanna see what the results actually could be with this. There you have it, photo evidence of a Yeti. I believe guys, I believe. Now it's important to mention if you don't like what it comes up with, you can always hit this swap button as many times as you want and it will regenerate that selection and actually put a new option in there for you. Now if you're liking what you're seeing about Luminar and you don't have it yet, I have a video link in the description for you to check out of the pricing and what's included. I'm not sponsored by Luminar for this video, but that link does help this channel out with a little bit of a kickback that helps us make videos just like this one that can help you out as well. So the last tool we're gonna look at is Gen Expand. And I'm gonna use this photo here to use that tool. So I'm gonna click on that photo and then go to Gen Expand. Basically what this tool is, is if you have a little bit of section of your photo that's a little too close, or maybe you're saying, I wish I was zoomed out just a little bit more, this tool can help you out with that. So you see when it pulls up, you have this crop tool is what it looks like. And what you can do is actually expand. So the top of this mountain in Iceland is just a little bit too close to the very top of this photo. So what I'm gonna do is just pull it up just a little bit and make it that much higher. 
And you'll see, just like Gen Swap, you have a generative fill option here that you can type in whatever you want. So what I'm gonna do is just include and expand the blue sky in here. I have found that hitting expand on this without giving it any information does a very poor job. So you have to be pretty specific about what you want it to expand. So I'm just gonna type blue sky and hit enter and see how it does expanding this. Now here's a slight error. For some reason, it's basically included a very strange like watermark in the top of the photo. That's unexpected. So I can just hit expand again and see if it corrects that. I'm not sure why it actually did that. Let's look at what it's regenerated. It has done a great job this time actually. So you may have to hit expand a few times. Let's zoom in on this and see what this actually looks like in the photo and see if we can tell where that line is. So as I zoom up here, you see it's basically expanded from this point up and I can't really tell it's done a great job including all of those clouds and the same blue tones going up into the sky. I honestly can't tell where that selection is actually made. If you want more tutorial videos on how to use Luminar, click or tap this playlist showing up on your screen right now.